we start to think about all of these words? What's the first step? Ma, you know, I think circular is something that underlines all of these three words that brings them together. So each work hand in hand, and they're actually not only something that we're doing very concretely, but it's a mindset that we can have in the small and the big action that we do in our everyday life or that we do in our jobs or as companies together. Um, and so it's really a, a mindset that we can apply to absolutely everything that we do. And it also brings us back to the thing of what's the difference between doing something, thinking linear and thinking circular. So normally when we think linear, right, it's in a straight line and this is how often economy works. So you have a product, you use it and you dispose of it. And that's it. And that's the end of it. And then where does it go? Right. But if we think circular, we from the get go, whatever we do, whatever solution we create, whatever product we, that we work with, we think about how can this be innovative? How can we eliminate any kind of waste that we are creating with this product? And how can we make it circular? Just like in nature, everything is circular. It always comes around, you know, a flower, a flower gets born. It dies, it goes back into the ground, it becomes a new flower. All resources are always reused, so there is no waste. And so this is really a way for us to think about all uh, of our big and small actions that we do, but also about the innovations that we're creating, the products that we're using. So we eliminate waste, we innovate from the get-go in the things that we are producing to make them more sustainable, and we circulate them. We always put them back into the system. We never uh, let go or waste any resources. I'm Celine. I'm from Brussels in Belgium, and I work for Solvay on the additive manufacturing side, which means 3D printing. And if I would bring an object, it's small tubes, right? But it's a connector as well that could be used for water connection and so on. So I would say if I'm connected with it, eliminate is like eliminated the way 3D printing helps to imagine a design and then try to build it. But then you don't have to make all the process around. So you eliminate a lot of the process and you try to find a solution and then innovate. Yes, in terms of design, you have to have a crazy mind to make crazy object. This one is not that crazy, but you could not do it in another way. <laughs> So, that's so, so, me, so you 3D printed that? Is that the, that's yep. the plastic used to? And it's, and it's a plastic that actually is compatible with water. So it's for, yes, like, yes this one is PVDF from survey. Indeed, so that's cool. And then uh, you could do it. So some people, that, you could do like a, an epsilon or something, another shapes with different area coming around because this is simple, but you could do even more complex than that. That's <gasps> That's amazing. Could you elaborate just a moment longer on what does it mean when you say compatible with water? Does that, does it dissolve in water or does it, how does it, how does it, what does it work? It doesn't dissolve, but uh, there are some products when you are in touch with water, you don't want them to contaminate or having some uh, dispersion of different things. And so, so for some products, you have to make sure that when the water is going inside, it gets as cleaner outside so you don't have any contamination for that you have a lot of certificates on the market because they are checking it so if you have pure water you need to make sure that it's pure water outside so that's why some products have to have this certification uh hello so my name is laura and i'm based in uh, i'm italian and i live in italy um for me the key word among the three oh actually two innovate uh, so I work as patent counsel within Solvay, which means when someone has an invention or think to have an invention, they come to us and we try to do our best to, uh, uh, to, to understand what the invention is <laughs> and to bring it on paper. So we actually use a lot of, uh, a lot of PC actually. Uh, so first is innovate. And the other one is circulate. Circulate means something we can do in our daily life. So, and here is where we can really make an impact. Maybe small, but uh, if we work as ants, then the impact will grow and it will become uh, exponential. So yeah, that's, uh, that are my two keywords for today. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm Daniela. I, I'm based in, in Brazil. We have a research center in, here in Brazil and I work with uh, innovation, right? And uh, my role in the company is to help our teams 
uh, with innovation tools and best practices and process. And I work a lot with ideation. So what I have here are post-its, okay? All the sizes, I have these big post-its that I really love and uh, the smallest ones. So I have any kind of post-its and even for myself. So I'm working and uh, today I was listening to you and I just got an idea and then I have my notes everywhere with the ideas of things that I can uh, do in my work. And what I have selected here, so first, innovate, right? Uh, my role and my passion is about innovation. And uh, when I think about ideation, it's always about uh, elimination and circulation as well. So we can think also about eliminating ideas because in order to have one good idea, you have to have plenty of bad ideas and you should be able to uh, give up on the, the ideas that are not the best and also circulate. So you take one idea from someone else and you create on that, on, you build on that. So we are circulating ideas. So in fact, I have selected the three, the three awards. Um, so my name is Anisha Naidu. I'm a chemical engineer. Uh, so I actually work in our manufacturing plants. Uh, the object I brought, I have to hold it near my face. Uh, there are shoes though. Um, they're actually my steel toed boots. So if I had some heavy machinery or metal that came and hit this, it's actually quite hard. So I wouldn't feel anything. Um, and the reason that I brought this object is because, um, I actually work in our industrial plants where we have like massive machines and unit operations, reactors, distillation columns, and we have people that make it happen. Right. And so the biggest thing is we have to be safe whenever we do anything. So uh, for me, like what, what comes to mind in my job is for safety. We can't do anything without that, which is why I brought my steel toed shoes. And also you have to start from the ground. You have to go out, out to the problem, out to the floor. Um, the three words. So for me, I immediately thought um, of the words in terms of, you know, waste and pollution. So for me, eliminate, we need to eliminate waste and eliminate pollution. We don't have this in the world, we as humans kind of introduced this concept of, you know, creating something and then making a waste, but how can we eliminate that? And so I think like rethinking of about waste in terms of how can we use it, reuse it, capture it, reuse it, and then circulate it is kind of the future. And so one way to do that is innovations. So how can we take a waste that maybe is considered a waste, but really it's not a waste. How can that waste be a raw material or something that can be an input? Hi, my name is Lolita Walpa and I'm from uh, Houston, Texas. I'm currently an assistant professor here at Baylor College of Medicine. And my uh, work uh, is based on uh, the uh, research on uh, heart disease in children. So children that are born with heart defects, uh, we look into the root of those malformations and uh, finding links of how these malformations are caused. So based on, I would link that to my work is that if we would like to eliminate the barriers uh, because these heart diseases in children, these are very rare diseases. And um, there's a very small population of these patients that exist in the world that have these defects. Um, and, um, but there are certain barriers, for example, there may be, uh, maybe like 0.5% of these patients in Belgium, there may be 0.5% uh, in, in USA, there may be 0.6% in UK. We, this is a very small population to study. In order to do the work that we are doing, like think, you know, for example, studying the genetics of these patients, we need larger populations, but there are so many inter-institutional, inter-continental, inter-country in, uh, 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 barriers that are there that we'd like to remove those barriers to be able to study this and take this population at the population level and study them. I'm part of Solve Corporate Security, so I definitely I'm not going to talk about security here. But you know, I I'm a chemi uh, by my background, so I had chemical engineer at heart. And on this topic, uh, Alex, that you have for us, eliminate, innovate, and circulate, I would say that um, you know uh, all of us deal with this every day. This is a bottle of water, right? And uh, I feel that, um, and I'm going to use the word crime. I think we commit this crime every day. 
Uh, and when I say crime, uh, every bottle of water that we are drinking, even if we put through put this water through bottle through the normal uh, uh, circulation process, where you know we, we don't put it in trash, it gets circulated. Uh, uh, it still ends up in landfill. I'm sure a lot of because I work. So as part of corporate security, we are also part of uh, uh, sustainability because we are BSA and Solvay. So we, we we interact quite a bit. And I learned that uh, 70, 70 to eighty percent of bottled water goes into landfill. Uh, it's very sad to know that, even though we try our best to circulate it as much as possible. So the challenge for us and challenge for Solvay as well. Uh, I'm not so much in the research team. Is to can we invent a plastic? Can we invent a, a, a raw material that even if it goes into landfill, gets dissolved in maybe five years as against 300 years. Donate as much as possible the, the plastic that we are using, innovate in terms of changing this plastic to something that can disintegrate, disintegrate in five years and circulate, of course. I mean, as much as possible, we try to circulate and hopefully it go, doesn't go into the landfill. So that's really our message for us and the challenge for us to is to come up with the raw material that can solve this problem, which unfortunately is going to get worse with time.